the most surprising thing about a paralegal's role is that it's usually considered a role that people have before they become a solicitor. However, becoming a paralegal can actually be a good alternative for those who don't want to be solicitors. Welcome to today's Short and Sweet Sunday where I talk about the function of a paralegal and what they actually do from a really general perspective. Paralegals are often described as the assistants of lawyers and usually the work they complete is similar to what a trainee solicitor or a newly qualified solicitor would be doing. You can find paralegal roles in all kinds of legal practice, from law firms to chambers, but also in-house and for charities. It's difficult to pinpoint the tasks every paralegal does, as this can differ per team and per expertise of the paralegal themselves. Generally, paralegals draft legal documents, research into areas of law, do admin tasks like printing, filing and photocopying, but they also have more complex tasks sometimes based on experience, like interviewing clients and supporting lawyers in court. How does one become a paralegal? Well, usually it is classified as an entry level job, so there are no specific rules about qualifications needed to become one. However, having knowledge about law can be preferable, as well as a good standard of education. Some firms prefer their applicants to have done the LPC or the GDL, but this isn't a requirement. Another route to becoming a paralegal is via legal apprenticeships. Thank you for watching today's Short and Sweet Sunday. I hope this clarified the whole role of what a paralegal does in very general terms. See you all in the next video.